It was the goal through 162 games in the regular season for 161. The Blue Jays had to stay sharp to get to this moment, a chance to make a run in October. Their matchup is a division winner, the Minnesota Twins, who will have a number one countering the Blue Jays ace. It's Pablo Lopez for Minneapolis, and it's Kevin Gosman for Toronto. Game one in the American League Wild Card is coming up. The right fielder is George Springer. He leads off. Hit on the ground to third base, waiting on it, Polanco. Double clutches out of the glove, wide throw of first base, tumbling over the bag. Springer is safe. Kirilov tried to hold the bag and then lost the ball as he teetered over at first base. And the Blue Jays have their leadoff man on. And as ugly as that play was, the Blue Jays need to take advantage of that. They need to manufacture this run, get George Springer over to, over to second base somehow. Rudder at first for Brandon Bell. Popped up behind the plate. Jeffers makes the play. One out. So Belt retired, and now here comes Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Four career postseason games, is two for 15 with an RBI. Ground ball out to second. Julian hustles over to his left. He's got one play, and that's the throw to first. Here will retire Guerrero on a traditional out as Springer takes second base. Julian with that range, electing not to make too long potential throws. Now they have a runner in scoring position. Yes, there's two outs, but Bo Bichette's coming to the plate. It's popped up. Playable, right field shallow, Julian out, Kepler in, Max calling, catching, inning over. Blue Jays don't score, they leave Springer in scoring position, and Lopez has a nice first inning. One thing about Julian, he does not chase outside the strike zone. 14.3%, that's the lowest in the majors. And there we go. Took that one just off the outside corner, so Julian leads off of the walk here in the first. Royce Lewis, 70 career big league games. Today, his first career postseason game. Last big league at bat came in Cincinnati on September 19th. Missed the last nine with a hamstring injury. With Lewis's leg here, Julian should be running here to stay out of the double play in the 3-2 count. Does not go. And now when he's drilled deep to left field, going back for a show, turning, looking, see ya! A two-run home run for Lewis. And just like that, the Twins are up 2-0. Royce Lewis, why not? October time for the kid. And the Twins strike first. It's 2-0 at Target Field. One down. And here is Alejandro Kirk. He was an all-star in 2022. Eight home runs this year. Fly ball, left center, and that is going to be caught by a diving Taylor. An outstanding center fielder, and he flashes the leather there for out number two. Focusing on Kevin Gosman, he's got an outstanding split finger. He's thrown nine so far. He's only had one swing and miss. But I want you to focus on the takes and the body language. I know they're not very competitive, but look at the body language. Never even an effort to swing. So I don't want to be a conspiracy theory, but to me, that split is too good, not even to budge. 0-1 on Jeffers, and he rips that one to left field. Coming on Varsho, and he makes the play for the first out in the bottom of the second. Off speed, it's high, ball four. That splitter not close, so Gosman issues his third walk. It's a one-out walk, and here comes Michael A. Taylor. A base hit to left field. Walner will stop at second, and a single for Taylor. So here's Julian, first and second. One man out against Gosman. Inside corner, strike three, Cole. He got a splitter and tried to watch it fly. It's dead. He pays the price and goes down looking. That's not where Kirk set up. That splitter was supposed to be down and away, and that pitch looked to be inside. The call went Gosman's way. So here's Polanco. He popped a Bichette in shallow left in the first inning. High fly ball, right field. Springer is there in front of the track. He'll make the play. And Gosman works into and out of trouble. No runs ahead. And two men left. We go to the third. It's 2 nothing Minnesota. Quickly two down here in the third. And that'll bring up Brandon Belt. And the 3-2. Strike three. Lopez gets Belt looking. A 1-2-3 inning for the Blue Jays as they go down in order. And John Snyder has some words for the home plate umpire Andy Fletcher. So we played two and a half here in Minneapolis. And that one just on the bottom part of the zone. It's 2 nothing Twins. Royce Lewis will bat for the second time. First postseason at bat. Get a two-run homer to left in the opening inning. Swing at a fly ball. Right center field deep. Springer back. He will turn. Back it goes. Gone! Unbelievable! Royce Lewis welcome to October baseball. Two advance, two home runs. This kid is amazing. It is 3-0 Twins. This is what I'm talking about, Bonnie. 
split, two -oh splits. Watch this. Not even a budge. That's a hell of a split. Not a budge. Here comes the guy. 2 -oh. I'm going to hit it out front. Not even a budge. He's laying off. And then here's a 96 mile an hour fastball. And I'm going to beat the head. Bam! It is way too obvious. There's something that's given away. Something in tipping. But those are not supposed to be the takes. As we start the fourth, it's 3 nothing Twins, or it's really 3 nothing Royce Lewis. 2 0 oh on Vlad Guerrero Jr. Fly ball. Deep right center, Taylor on the run, and also Kepler, and Kepler makes the catch. Guerrero drove it to the wall, but Kepler ran it down. So here's Bichette. 2-1. Swing and a line drive. Shallow in right center field, down for a base hit. A little looper off the bat of Bo Bichette, able to drop it in front of Taylor and Kepler, and the Blue Jays have a one-out base runner. Vigio, he's been swinging a hot bat. That's why he is in the lineup, and Whit Merrifield is on the bench right now. Broken bat, soft ground ball. Fielded there by Correa. He gets the out at first as Bichette moves to second. So two down. Runner in scoring position for Toronto. And here's Alejandro Kirk. And that hits Kirk. So he will take first. And that brings up Kiermaier as the tying run. Chop toward third. Polanco charges. And it goes under his glove. And here comes Bichette. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's out. Oh, a great recovery by Carlos Correa firing home to get Bichette trying to score. And a gold glove play by a platinum winner, Carlos Correa. That's a nice comeback inning for Gosman. He strikes out the Twins in order. They go down one, two, three. So we'll go to the fifth. It is three nothing Minnesota. Here's Chapman, flew out to center field and hit the ball hard. Right up the middle and knocked down by the third baseman, Julian. And that allows Chapman to reach. So here is Dalton Varsho. Chop to her first, and Kirilov steps on the bag as Chapman moves to second. Runner on second, one man out, and here is Springer. Fly ball into center field, fairly deep. Going back is Taylor. Makes the play in front of the track. Tagging is Chapman, and the throw comes into Correa. Two outs. And it'll be up to Brandon Belt. This crowd has been a factor. They have been into it since the ceremonial first pitch. Every big moment, they rise as one and get loud. Swing and a miss. Belt down on strikes. No runs to hit, no errors, and one man left at the end of four and a half. We're halfway through. Twins lead 3-0. Lopez has been outstanding, a master class today, attacking all four quadrants. First with the fastball in, little two-seamer. Then the four-seamer away, glove side. Then the fastball up, gas. And then down low for the changeup. Master class. One up, one down in the sixth. Those has got one of the three hits for the Blue Jays this afternoon. And he cracks one up the middle into center field, a base hit. A two-hit day for Bo Bichette. Here's Biggio. Biggio pops it up. Correa, two down. So runner at first, two men out. Kirk is 0 for 1 and was hit by a pitch and a 3-1 count. This will be the 91st pitch. And he walked him. Well, let's see what Rocco Baldelli does. He's got double barrel action in the bullpen. Pete Mackey, the pitching coach, is going to come out and talk with Lopez. Well, Baldelli has a decision to make soon. Both of those pitchers out there are ready, but they will allow Lopez to deal with Kiermaier. Biggest at bat of the game, biggest moment in the game right here. One swing can tie it. Line drive, it's a base hit to left field. Bichette rounds third. He will score. Kirk stops at second. Kevin Kiermaier goes the opposite way with an RBI single. He cashes in Bo Bichette, and now it's 3-1. to one. Minnesota. And what a great piece of hitting from such a professional hitter in Kevin Kiermeyer. Down in the zone, away. Kevin Kiermeyer just drops the head on it and hits a good line drive into left field, scoring Bo Bichette. And that single is going to knock Lopez out of the game. So they will go to the bullpen, and Lopez is going to get himself a rousing ovation. It is going to be right at her hard throwing Louis Varlin on here to face a pretty good player in Matt Chapman. Chapman lost one deep to right center. Going back, Taylor on the track at the wall. He makes the catch. He made the catch. He saved two runs and took an extra base hit away from Chapman. The gold glover again. Another play, a gold glove play. A game perhaps saving play for Michael Taylor. The Twins have a 3-1 lead over the Blue Jays. who will bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, and Kevin Biggio. 
Guerrero whistles a line drive into right center field, down for a base hit. Two long bounces and all the way to the wall. Guerrero cuts the bag at first, slides into second with a leadoff double. And you can see just how pumped up Vlad is at second base, yelling at the dugout, a few fist pumps. He's been waiting to do that. That was a great piece of hitting. He's in scoring position for Bichette. He struck him out swinging on a breaking ball. Three pitches, Bichette. Out number one. And now Kevin Biggio. And the 0-2. Strike three call on a breaking ball. Two down. Great pitch. Outside corner. And Biggio is out number two. And now Alejandro Kirk. He's been on twice. Officially 0 for 1. Ground ball right side. Backhanded by Solano. Takes it to the bag. Out number three. Eighth inning over. Griffin Jack screaming let's go as he pumps that right arm in the air. Guerrero left at second base. Blue Jays ways to lead off double. Johan Duran, the Twins closer, makes his way in. Trying to get the final three outs here in the ninth inning. Kiermaier will dig in. Two for two with a walk. Crowd on its feet here at Target Field. He struck him out swinging. A curveball. A foul ball hung on to by Jeffers. There's one. One, two count to Chapman and the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? He did. Strike three. Two down. One out to go. Here's Merrifield. That's high. Ball four. The Blue Jays with two out life. We'll get George Springer as the tying run into the batter's box. George Springer. Incredible first pitch numbers against fastballs. And the pitch, ground ball right side, diving stop Solano to his feet, feeds Duran, steps on the back. 